When I did my top 5 used CPUs for the money, a lot of people requested that I do a top 5 graphics cards for the money. However, since there is just so many good used deals on graphics cards out there, I decided to do a top 6, and even then, that is not even going to do enough justice. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with the top six graphics cards for the first half of 2016. Now a lot of these cards, I'll give you guys some price points of what you can pick them up for, or what you can expect to pick them up for, but a lot of the times you'll have to get them on free auction because a lot of people will only be selling one card at a time since they're used. However, with that being said, let's get on with number six. Six. Coming in at 6th place is the 9800 GT. Now I recently used one of these in my $70 CSGO potato and I thought it was going to be a pretty bad graphics card. However, it really surprised me, especially for a $10 graphics card. This card will do an absolutely fine job of playing CSGO, League of Legends, and even Dota 2 if you drop the settings down a little bit. So a great card for either 720p or entry, real entry 1080p gaming. Now you can expect to pay around about $10 to $15 for one of these cards used, maybe stretching it up to $20, but I wouldn't pay any more than $20 for a 9800 GT. Five. Coming in at number 5 is the HD6970 and its little brother the HD6950. Now these are great cards for the money and they will still do a good job of playing games at entry and medium settings at 1080p, depending on the game. Now what I have here is a two gigabyte variant that I picked up for around about $70. So if you're lucky, you'll pick these cards up anywhere from 60 to $80. Now there are one gigabyte and two gigabyte variants. You'll most likely wanna go for the two gigabyte variant if you can, but if you get the one gigabyte variant for a bargain, don't be afraid to play at 720p for a great price. Oh. Coming in at number four is the HD5870 and its little brother, the HD5850. Now what I love about these cards is generally the price point. You can get them from around about $30 to $50 and they will do a seriously good job of playing games entry level 1080p or even 720p. However, most of the time they come in one gigabyte flavors, so some games will require more VRAM to be able to play properly. I was able to just get a 5850 to play properly at 1080p and GTA 5, which speaks great lengths for a $30 card. Three. Coming in at number three is the GTX 660. Now you can expect to pay anywhere from around $70 to $90 for one of these. I managed to pick up two of these for around about $80 each. And honestly, at $80, this is offering very good performance for the dollar, especially since it's got a 2GB frame buffer on there so it would be able to play games perfectly fine at 1080p. And it would also give you the added benefit of using shadow play if you wish to, and also generally using a little bit less power than the previous graphics cards I've mentioned since it is a 28 nanometer variant. Coming in at number two is the HD7870 and its little brother, the HD7850. Now these are fantastic cards for the money. They generally come with a two gigabyte frame buffer, which will do a perfectly fine job of playing games at 1080p. They also overclock really well, and generally you can pick them up for around about 80 to $100. So great value for money at number two. One. Coming in at number one is the HD7970. You can also get the lower variant, the HD7950, but these are fantastic cards even to this day. You'll be expecting to pretty much max games out at 1080p a lot of the time, if not get high settings. This is a very capable card even to this date, and the best part about it is it comes in at around about $130 to $150. That's what you could expect to pay for this. The 7950s, you can get them even a little bit cheaper. I'd be looking for one for around about $110 to $120. So at this price, you can generally overclock them and they will give you very good performance for the dollar. So anyway guys, that's about it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about this video, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. But before I get out of here, I will stress one thing, that is that this is used parts we're dealing with, so there's always the risk of getting a broken part with no warranty. However, you can avoid that by generally checking out the seller and confirming that the graphics card works before you purchase it. Or if it does have a problem, at least confirm that you could fix that problem before you buy it. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.